good morning children and welcome to all of you in the physics class today i will explain about the potential energy that is is the part of work energy and power second video that is work energy and power okay second part welcome to all of you what is potential energy potential energy is the energy of any object due to its position that is called potential energy as the definition is given here potential energy is the energy possessed by a body due to its position state or strained condition this is the definition of potential energy now suppose look at the picture here any object that have the mass m and kept above height h meter then it have the energy of mgh how can we calculate it it is discuss later now we are about to talk here that the potential energy types which are given here the first type is gravitational potential energy second is electrical potential energy and third is chemical potential energy there are three types of potential energy which are given now going onwards how can we calculate the gravitational potential energy to calculate it first of all we know the formula of work done that is force into distance force is nothing but it is a mass into acceleration here mass is m acceleration is g distance is h so w is equal to mgh and it is actually the potential energy that is pe is equal to u is equal to mgh because potential energy can be write in short p dot e dot r u okay what is the unit of potential energy the unit of potential energy is joule because any type of energy have the unit joule going onwards some examples which are given in the picture of potential energy first example is given in the diagram that is the rotating turbine by using the potential energy of water nowadays electricity produced at the electrical power plant by using the dam and dam has the a lot of water that have the potential energy and it is used to run the turbine and by using turbine we can generate the electricity or you can say electrical energy now second use is which is given in the picture that is one spring is fixed at the roof and one mass is hanged about it when we moved the object of mass some mass then it have the potential energy after it can be converted in sometimes potential energy and sometimes in kinetic energy due to this it can be vibrate from their mean position okay now what is the conservation of energy all of you know very well about that energy can neither be created nor can be destroyed but may be transformed from one form to the other it means we can say that energy can be converted from one part to the other it cannot be created or cannot be destroyed some examples which are given for reference of energy conservation for it we can help or we can take the help of this diagram which is given that is any free falling object which falls from a initial point that is a and the height of object of point a from the 
roof is H that is given here. After dropping it, suppose that point B and it dropped up to H1 height, then every point like uh, point A, point B and point C at the bottom, the sum of kinetic and potential energy should be conserved. How can it? Just looking here at the point A where the initial velocity is 0. So, we can say that kinetic energy becomes 0 that is half mv square and velocity is 0. So, kinetic energy is 0. So, only energy can be obtained by their position. So, it is mgh. M is the mass of the object, g is the gravitational acceleration, h is the height. E is equal to mgh. Similarly, at point B, when object is downfall up to h1 height and it is have the velocity, suppose v2 here, then actually uh, it is wrongly mentioned here, v2 is wrong, actually it should be v square. Okay. According to the third equation of motion, v square is equal to u square plus 2gh because initial velocity u is 0. So, v square is equal to 2gh comes at the point B. Now, kinetic energy at this point half mv square putting the value in this formula we get mgh1 it is the kinetic energy. Now, total energy should be potential energy and kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is mgh1 and potential energy is due to their height. After subtracting h1 from h, we get the potential energy mgh minus h1. So, net value becomes mgh that is also at point A. Similarly, if we move downward at point C, where using the third equation of motion v square is equal to u square plus 2gh, we get v square is equal to 2gh, kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. So, kinetic energy will, will be mgh. At bottom or at the floor, the height becomes 0. So, mgh that is potential energy becomes 0. So, only energy obtained by the kinetic energy that is given here this formula kinetic energy equal to mgh. So, we can say that we can look here at the point A, B and C everywhere the total sum of kinetic energy and potential energy becomes mgh. This is energy conservation law. Okay. Now, next topic is transformation of energy. What is this? This is the transformation of energy from one types to the other type. Suppose that examples are given here. First is mechanical energy. Mechanical energy can be converted like kinetic to potential energy. Suppose that pendulum bob from its main position to the extremity of swing. Similarly, potential to kinetic energy, a compressed spring when released. Similarly, kinetic to heat energy, if piece of stone is struck against another, it gives out sparks. Kinetic to sound energy, vibration of bodies. Kinetic to electrical energy, action of dynamo. All these are conversion of one type to the other. Similarly, heat transformation, heat to mechanical energy, work of heat engine, heat to light energy, heat, hot filament in an electric lamp, heat to chemical energy. All these are the transformation of energy. Now, next is light. Light to electrical energy, photoelectric effect, light to chemical energy that is action of light on photographic plate. Similarly, on moving forward sound, sound to mechanical energy, forced vibration and resonance, sound to electrical energy that is telephone. Today I will, uh, uh, we are using telephone, mobiles, all these things that 
have the sound energy to convert into electrical energy going forward for electrical energy electrical energy also can be converted mechanical energy that is electric fans electric motors tram cars similarly electrical energy can be converted into heat energy that is electric heater electric irons electric furnaces etc similarly moreover some energies are given suppose magnetic chemical atomic molecular nuclear all these are the types of energy that can be converted into other form of energy suppose magnetic energy convert into heat energy magnetic energy convert to electrical energy by electromagnetic induction process similarly chemical to heat energy burning of coal similarly chemical to light energy burning of magnesium in the presence of oxygen similarly uh, chemical to heat sound and mechanical energy, explosion of various explosive substance atomic energy in the explosion of atom bomb atomic mass is converted into various form of energy similarly molecular level when water vapor condenses molecular energy change into heat similarly nuclear energy explosion of hydrogen bomb liberates nuclear energy in this way we can say that a lot of types of energy forms now some sources which are given here sources of energy first is solar energy second is fossil fuels third is hydro energy what is solar energy solar energy is nothing but it comes from the sun it is called solar energy solar energy can be stored in the solar cells solar energy cooker and so many other devices similarly fossil fuels that are petroleum chem chemicals elements like petrol coal tar diesel kerosene oil all these are fossil fuels similarly hydro energy another sources of energy is kinetic energy of flowing water that is called hydro energy as i have already explained to making the electricity by using the dam water that is hydro energy similarly wind energy bio mass energy nuclear energy mass energy all these are the form of energy so in this way we can conclude about the energy one more thing which are given here einstein equation by einstein equation energy can be converted into mass that is given the formula e is equal to mc square where e is equal to energy m is the mass and c is the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second if 1 kg of mass is converted into energy then it comes 9 into 10 to the power 16 joule by putting the above formula e is equal to mc square now what is power power is the electrical terms and its definition is the rate of doing work is called power r the work done by agent or machine in unit time is called the power that is p is equal to w by t mathematically representation p is equal to power w is equal to work done t is equal to time taken and its uh, have the unit watt power some uh, substitutes formula is f w is equal to fd and putting it then we get in this manner d upon t is equal to v so uh, formula becomes f cross v that is here now what is the unit of power power unit i have already explained watt that is also called joule per second that is given here 1 watt is equal to 1 joule upon 1 second this is most important thing other major units are 1 kilowatt megawatt and horse power all the measurable value are given at the right side 1 kilowatt 10 to the power 3 watt 1 megawatt is equal to 10 to the power 6 watt 1 horse power is equal to 746 watt kilowatt hour kilowatt hour is nothing but it is the unit of electrical energy measurement by mscb mscb means electricity board that uh, domestic electricity can be purchased by us and billed at the kilowatt hour and it is also called unit 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1 kilowatt multiplied by 1 hour after calculating it 
in the MKS system, we get one kilowatt hour or one watt hour only here, that is 3600 joule. And one kilowatt hour is 3.6 to 10 to the power 6 joule. Okay. In this way, we can say that one kilowatt, one kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. However, one watt hour is equal to 3600 joule. Joule is the very smaller unit of electricity. So we use kilowatt hour or unit. Okay. Now in this way, I can complete this chapter. Thanks all of you for watching our video. Thank you very much.